ABC Sports proudly presents Game 3 and our exclusive coverage of the Bowl Championship Series. Capacity crowd has continued its New Year's celebration for two days here in the Valley. And now they're ready for some football. For the first time ever, it's Ohio State and Kansas State. Here comes Kansas State with a record of 11 and 3. The Big 12 champions making their first ever appearance in a BCS bowl game. A perfectly clear 70 degree day has given way to a gorgeous evening in the Valley. Ohio State won the toss deferred. Kansas State will receive the opening kickoff. We're underway in Tempe. This will be Sproles at the five. Sproles spins past one and bangs his way out to the 25 yard line. He's six foot four. He is really talented. 6 1, 205. Here's the give to Sproles off the right side, breaks the tackle and gains about three and a half yards. The Tostito starting lineups, backs and receivers, all eyes will be firmly focused on Darren Sproles all night. Kansas State has averaged almost 300 yards a game during the swing streak. James Terry is the big time receiver. The Wildcats offensive line is really good. Not big, but probably the best in the country at combo blocks. Nick Leckie is the best player. He's their center. Second down and seven. Option. Sproles. Not much. Ohio State is swarming. Ohio State does have that swarming speed type defense. It ranks first in the nation against the run. Spotlight number 93, Will Smith, a senior co captain there on the right, who is the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. At linebacker, Bobby Carpenter gets the start in there, along with Reynolds. A.J. Hawk is the leading tackler. In the secondary, Fox and Gamble are excellent cover guys. Sally and Allen, big play safeties. At some point, Sproles is going to want to go over the top. James Terry, a guy that uh, has been a big play guy, averaging nearly 20 yards a catch. He will try to get behind Gamble, who sometimes takes some risks and plays the underneath stuff a little too heavy. Third down and five. Roberson looks at the defense, changes things, goes to the gun. He's very mobile. Almost picked off. There's Michael Jenkins. You talk about good. Extremely versatile, very talented. This is a high spirally punt. Oh my, this takes him all the way back to the 15. Jenkins looks for some blocks. Jenkins across the 30 to the 32 yard line. A fine return of 56 yard punt and a return of 18 yards. Power formation. Ross, right side, picks up a good chunky yardage. After the mark, it's second down and five. First down, Ohio State, Lydell Ross. Come underneath, they are the key to this great pass rush for Kansas State. First down, play action. Prensel on the waggles, got company, and throws it away. We told you he was smart. Second down, Krenzel throws, it's blocked at the line of scrimmage. Again, it was Andrew Scholl who got a hand on it. He was Buell. Defense. Second down and five. Ross bangs his way out just short of the midfield mark. Ted Sims is the third down and three. K-State shows blitz. They try to go over the top, and Jenkins was open, underthrown, and picked off. Cedric Williams with his fourth interception of the year. You know, even there, he had an eight-inch differential. You'd think he'd just throw it. It looked like he was trying to put too much touch on it. Here's Sproles. Sproles goes down in a hurry. Great grab wow. by A.J. Hawk. He's going to bring up second down and 12, the Wildcats. Roberson with time, drills it over the middle, incomplete. Times, what a job. Third down and 12, plenty of time for Roberson, and he throws the out pattern now, and it's complete to Dennis. It'll be close, but he'll come up about a yard short. Maybe ready to kick to Michael Jenkins. High snap. 
This is an end over end kick that will go out of bounds at about the 44 yard line. Tries to pattern his style after Eddie George and see if he can have that kind of success. First down, Ross, left side, gets a block, now runs right into a tackle. Under 10 points per game allowed. Somehow, Ohio State always seems to get it done, and they are best in close games. Here's a little screen. They throw underneath. Ross is out close to a first down. He'll be two yards short. You know, he's listed at 210. I bet you he's not 195. Three-step drop. Krenzel again looks for a mismatch and overthrows Jenkins, who had a step. Michael Jenkins is not one to get frustrated, but he's been open twice now and hasn't gotten the ball. Sanders punt. Derek Sproles looks at it and takes it at the 17. So eventually, they're going to have to run some underneath stuff to loosen him up. Well, you saw he's made a catch in 38 straight games, looking for his first one here. Sproles has nowhere to go around the right side. Made a loss to yards. Tried to meet him uh, at the Oklahoma State game and missed his chance. Roberson has tons of time, but then overthrows his receiver, James Terry. The other was only 24 yards. Jekyll and Hyde. Here's a low snap. Pressure blocked. Ohio State's got it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And the extra point is good. Good job. You always expect soft sound fundamentals from Ohio State. That was great. Marcel Frost and John Hollins both wear 84. Here's Sproles. Gets a block. He's across the 20. He's got speed. There's a flag down across the 40 and out to the 43 yard line. We'll wait to see what the flag is back at the 12. So it'll be first down for the Wildcats just outside the five. Start in the eye, switch with L. Roberson now out of the gun. Roberson throws incomplete. What does he mean to this team? How about 7,600 yards of total offense? The draw. They track him down at the eight. Terry and Dennis to the top of the screen. Polite at the bottom, out of the gun. Shuffle pass to Sproles. To the nine, maybe the ten, that's it. Reynolds and Hawk. State is playing as fast as any defense as I've seen in a long time. He needs to go right at him. Low line kick by Jared Bright. Jenkins has it, and he's into Kansas State territory. Back to the 43-yard line, so a 41-yard punt. Try the reverse, Santonio Holmes. And Kansas State all over it. They'll lose yardage back to the 45. But we're not going to let it happen again. They won seven games in a row after that. Buckeyes need 11 on second down. Krenzel has pressure from behind and throws to a wide open. Holmes, and it's incomplete. Craig Krenzel now just one for five with an interception. Third down and 11. Steps up, tries to buy some time. Throws to the flats. Has it complete to Childress. Look out. Childress is loose. Inside the 10. Bam, Childress. The 5'10", 185 junior takes it all the way down inside the 10-yard line. A gain of 35. They go low. Parksock and Hamby, two tight ends. The give straight ahead to Ross. Tries to bounce to the right side and not much. They've got to get that number better in the red zone. Second and goal. Prenzel. Into the end zone, it's tipped incomplete. Third and goal. Prince has got pressure, now rolls right. Looks to the back of the end zone, touchdown Buckeyes. Santonio San Holmes. Santonio San Holmes has matured, a redshirt freshman. He matured in one day, and that day was when Ohio State played on the road against Indiana when Drew Carter got hurt. Look at the top of your screen. 
Watch him finish this route. Cedric Williams should have never let him get this step. He closes it. Krenzel, what an, an unbelievable throw on the run by Krenzel. But that's a good job by a freshman finishing the play. Extra point is good. The play was made by Krenzel. Scramble. Let's see what happens. A little pooch I, kick. I like the call. <laughs> Ball's loose. Kansas State gets it back. Excellent call by Jeff Dressel. First down, high snap. Roberson in trouble, losing yardage. Not scoring, that's margin of victory. Roberson throws deep, has a man. Incomplete, great coverage. So it brings up third down and long, make it 12. Roberson almost picked off. Line it up, run some ISO, some inside traps, go right at this defense and try to slow them down a little bit. Buckeyes are coming. Bright gets it off. It's a high tail wagger. Jenkins takes it at the 39. Tries to buy some time, but they're all over it. But again, Ohio State will have excellent field position after a 42 yard punt. I'd let him air it out. Get him back in the pocket. Right now, the Ohio State offensive line doing a nice job blocking the front of Kansas State. They're giving him plenty of time. Childress, the motion man, first down. This is Ross, big hole, right side. Explodes out to the 45. So at the 46, second down and one. Ross again. Picks up the first, moves it down to the 41. First down, Buckeyes. Ross has speed. Gets the corner. Buell misses the tackle. And all the way down to the 20 goes Liddell Ross, the junior out of Tampa, Florida. A gain of 21. You are watching the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl in Tempe, Arizona. Ohio State leads Kansas State 14 to nothing, and the Buckeyes are threatening again. First down, Ohio State. Play action. Krenzel has time. Looks to the end zone. Intercepted. Cedric Williams with the interception, and it was spectacular. That can turn things around for the Wildcats. First down. Option. Roberson has nowhere to run. Maybe gets a yard. Garden City Community College before eventually signing with K-State. I spoke to Alma. She said she's doing fine. She's watching the game from home in Florida. Sproles with a great run, Sam, while you're giving that nice report on Williams, and he's close to a first down out at the 30. Expect him to be a little more in sync. They look a little rusty right now. Holiday season, you're such a Scrooge. That was a, <laughs> that was a heck of a pick, that last one. Downhill behind Lucky and Lil, uh, Lilja, the left guard. Sproles busted out across the 30 to the 32-yard line. Again, Ohio State, all that speed, very physical up front. They're winning the battle. Third down and eight play action. Roberson's got problems. Escapes and throws incomplete. It was intended for James Terry. Good coverage. This is a boomer. He's just getting warmed up. Jenkins goes back to the 20 and hit immediately. Loses yardage after the catch. That's our guy. While well, the Buckeyes look like they're playing for another national title. First down. Ross gets the corner again. And gets out to the 25 where Cedric Williams trips him up. Second down and four. Ross hit immediately. Rashad Washington, the safety on a blitz. Brandon Joe, the lone setback. Third down, and Krenzel's got problems again. Buys time. Throws complete to Jenkins. First down, Ohio State. Hamby and Hartsock switch sides. First down, Ohio State. Again, Krenzel on the move, this time being chased by Buell, and is knocked out of bounds after a gain of one. Second down. The Buckeyes need nine. They come on the blitz. Krenzel throws, picks it up. A yard short of the first, but Bam Childress is close. They need one on third down. That's going to be on Kansas State. You think so? I yeah. thought Ben Hartsock moved. Well, he moved when the defensive end over him jumped in. If, if the officials called this right, well, now we've got a scuffle. And a flag. Mm -hmm. 
about three fouls on the play. Dead ball, full start, offense. Then we have, after the play was over, two dead balls, personal fouls. Those fouls will offset. So they're the offsetting personal fouls. Third down, they need six. Pretzel keeps it himself. And he's got the first down. Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? It's really good. Bill Snyder not happy. It's hard to believe he's making his first appearance in a BCS bowl game after tied one of the best in the Big 12 conference. Second down for Krenzel. Again, he avoids the rush and throws it away. The accusations and the filed complaint. He's only three of 10, 15 yards. But right now, it's Krenzel. This time he throws to Ross, and Ross is down to the 40 yard line or close to it. He'll mark it at the 41. This is a high punt that they'll try to pooch and get it inside the 20. It hits at the five and is down there. 37 of his 76 punts have been downed inside the 20 this year. He's the best at it. So far, L. Roberson has not found his rhythm. He is really struggling. Buckeyes show blitz. They bring it off the corner. Roberson beats it, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Chris Gamble. James Terry did not get the audible. Roberson saw pressure coming from the outside. He called an audible. And James Terry did not get it. He went to run a fade to get another route call. And James Terry continued with the old route. Look out, boys. Here come the Buckeyes. It's almost time to batten down the hatches. Touchdown, Jenkins. Ohio State's on a roll. A 17-yard strike. Prenzel to Jenkins, set up by the interception by Roberson. It helps their argument a lot, doesn't it? Nugent's extra point attempt splits the sticks. I'd be thinking about another pooch if I were Ohio State. We don't want a big play to take this momentum back. That's exactly why they're doing it. Taken back to the 30-yard line. Victor Mann turned out, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Right now, they're very quiet. Roberson scrambles his way to a first down, and L. Roberson, who's got that great ability to run, has run for over 1,000 yards this year. Pinned uh, Kansas State back in the five, led to an interception. Here's Roberson threw a strike that time to Polite, and it should have been caught. Second down and 10 for the Wildcats. Hello, Bill. That was Darian Scott who came across defensively. We'll see if he was the first to move. And you're right, that'll help. I mean, he's going against the number one rush defense in the nation, so he's got to be able to throw. Sproles pushes the pile. He's out close to another first down. And into Ohio State territory. Out of the eye on first down and 10. Roberson overthrows James Terry once again. And what four hours, that's all anybody in this town has talked about. Exactly. And we spoke to Bill Snyder before the game, and he said, you know what? I don't know that this isn't a distraction. Roberson with a spin move, buys some time. Can he make it count? First down, Wildcats. He didn't look distracted on that one, did he? Some help from the sidelines. They were pointing to Terry. Throw it to him. Roberson again with pressure. He's not getting away this time. Sacked by Bobby Carpenter. Carpenter, the 240-pound sophomore from Lancaster, Ohio, and a loss of nine. These guys will be around for a long time. It's a great sophomore class. Second down and long as they throw a screen pass to Sproles, and it wasn't even close. Don't have many plays in the playbook for 19. You might want to try to get something early and see if they can break a run. Roberson with time. Throws it complete. There's your 19 yards and then some. Antoine Polite down inside the 15. Roberson changes the play. Looks to the end zone. Incomplete intended for. Terry incomplete. That should have been six. Second down and ten. They can get the first down without the touchdown. The option. Inside the ten. 
And close to the five goes L. Roberson. Third down and three. Option. Sproles to the one. Touchdown, Kansas State. Darren Sproles with a great block from Travis Wilson from six yards out. And we finally have ourselves a ball game, don't we? And it's good. This is a low liner that hits at the 17. Bam Childers picks it up. Tiptoes past the 15 to the 17 yard line. Back. Two fifty three remaining in the half first down. Defense stops Ross. In Oklahoma State mauled the Wildcats physical but they're relentless. Prentzel with time looks to the outside it was intended for Holmes and incomplete so it'll bring up third down and long. Play clock down to two. Right side Ross not much. Josh Buell again made the tackle. Great and right off seven in a row. Here's your Ray Guy Award winner, BJ Sander, trying to get off a boomer. And he does. It's a high punt, not particularly long. And it's returned to the 43 yard line. That I've been coaching for the last few years. Kansas State with plenty of time, they don't have to rush. Incomplete. Intended for polite. And again, it looked like a catchable ball. Third down in 10. Three man rush. Plenty of time for Roberson. Throws over the middle and it's almost picked off. Palmingly goes over, oh, yeah. teaches, coaches, advises, tries to get him settled down a little bit. Here's a good punt that hits inside the five, but goes into the end zone for a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 20. But if, if he had his choice, what would he want to do? Ross with a big game, but then just got tattooed. Understand the thinking. By Play Jim clock Trestle. down to two. Final 15 seconds, and they'll say that's it. Let's get into the house. Can't blame him. So Ohio State came out of the block, scored two touchdowns in the first quarter to make it 14 nothing. They started the second quarter with a touchdown pass to Jenkins. It was 21 nothing, and then finally L. Robeson woke up on a big drive, 70 yards. He hit Sproles. It was a 16 or a six-yard touchdown run on the option. Let's. This is the Bowl Championship Series on ABC Sports as coverage of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl continues. A matchup in the desert of the Big Ten and the Big 12 promised big stars for the night. Craig Krenzel of Ohio State got out of the blocks and led his team early. 7 of 15, 94 yards and two touchdowns. That one to Michael Jenkins. For Kansas State, the dynamic duo of Roberson and Sproles struggled until this late first half touchdown. Darren Sproles, who has nine carries, 26 yards and a touchdown. The second half is coming up next. So Kansas State ready to kick off and start the second half. This is Gamble. He's got some room and now there's Josh Buell who takes him down. Also in the carry, not much there for this year as well. So Brandon Joe comes in to replace him. Pressure on Prenzel. He throws it away, that's, but he wasn't out of the box. That's a flag, yeah. That's a flag. Didn't get out of the tackle box. Flax come in late. Justin Montgomery will get credit with the sack. Oklahoma State. Well, when they pass, there's no foul on the play. Oh, wow. well, how about that? Call. That is an awful, awful call. That was intentional grounding by that. I mean, that, that you could put that on a uh, official tape. To coach up officials. 
Sproles is standing on his own 20. Sander gets off a high kick, not a particularly long kick. And dangerously, Kansas State player gets blocked almost into it. Nice two to a room. I guarantee they were up late last night talking about it. Come out with a reverse. This is Morera. Great block, and Morera's got a first down. Gain of 13, first down Wildcats. Roberson gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. Roberson's in trouble, slips and goes down. Pressure was coming by Carpenter, and Roberson helped him a little bit when his cleats wouldn't hold. Number one re deep run defense in the country, certainly playing like it. Roberson on a little waggle, tries to buy some time, now throws deep. He's looking for James Terry. Oh. Picked off by Campbell, a flag comes the in. The There's going to be interference. Yeah, yeah, Nate Sally. Although I think that Jim Trestle is going to have a very serious argument about an uncatchable ball. I mean, I, I can see why Coach Trestle was out on the field arguing, but that was the correct call. Sproles. And he gets Sproles carries. AJ Hawk was there. Got that in more than half tonight so far. Second down and nine. Roberson. Incomplete again. Tended for Terry. Great coverage by Gamble. Third down and a long nine. Almost ten. Marrera in motion. Underneath screen to Marrera. Lunges forward short of the first. Kansas State on fourth down and short. They need one. Trying to change the momentum of this game. Out of a power eye. Roberson tries to get the first. He's going to be close. There's a scrum right around the 40 yard line. First down and 10 for the Wildcats. Sproles, the tailback with Roberson. Here's Sproles. Breaks a tackle and is close to another first down. Looks better in a bathing suit. <laughs> it's illegal in 49 states for offensive linemen to be seen in bathing suits. Roberson looks deep. He's got the first. Down inside the 15. Right Thomas rolling. Hill with a catch. Out of the gun on first down. Roberson inside the 10. Roberson touchdown. From 14 yards out, L. Roberson scores and makes it a one touchdown game. And now the Cats are definitely back in it. Roberson, when you miss just half a step, you're half a step behind or even a full step against Roberson. Extra point by Joe Ream is good. Took four minutes and 54 seconds. L. Roberson with a 14-yard run. This is Maurice Hall takes it a yard deep. And Hall takes it all the way out across the 25 to the 27 yard line. Stop. The same kind of energy, the same kind of feel. It's, it's a lot of fun. Back to Tom in a bit, Tim. Ross has absolutely nothing around that left side. Second down and 11. A huge momentum switch taking place here. Kretzel's trying to stop it. And he does. Jenkins loose. He's got the first down and more. And that will quiet the crowd inside because the defenders on the outside you get to know all those different things when you play together this long big hole right side on first down they pick up them chunk of yardage here again that it wasn't a huge play in the grand scheme of the game but it was a huge play in this drive this is Brandon Joe spins his way close to the first down see how they mark it Brandon Schnitger in the ball game now oh, Hamby jumped off sides. Throw to the snap, ball start, offense. It's a five-yard penalty. So it brings up third and long. Here comes the heat, straight man. They show the blitz. Kretzel has to unload it. There's going to be a flag. Is it offsides? Yeah, it looked like they're in the neutral zone. He was creeping up. First down, Buckeyes.
Brentzel again, five step drop, looking for the mismatch, going down deep. And bobbled as he goes out of bounds. Gotta be careful, he might want to get Lewis Lavender in there. Buckeyes looking for 10 on second down. Again, going back Got it. to the left side. It's right. Jenkins. Jenkins inside the 10. That's unbelievable communication from the booth down to Jim Tressel. What a great play call. What great teamwork by that coaching staff to get that call. Ross to the seven. Ted Sims was riding him like a horse. Ohio State spreads the field sideline to sideline. Pretzel looks in the corner to Jenkins. Touchdown. Oh, what a catch right over top of Lavender. Michael Jenkins. The exact same throw and catch that Scott McMullen threw to Michael Jenkins to win the Penn State game. The play was actually called by Craig Krenzel, who was out of the game a little woozy, who got hit in the head. This is the exact same throw. It looks like a fade. You buzz it and throw it to the backside shoulder. And the cornerback, Lavender, who actually has really nice coverage, expecting the fade, he has no idea the ball's on its way. It's just so graceful looking. Mm -hmm. It makes it look easy, but he I mean, snatches it too, doesn't he? Got that tough body and yeah. soft hands. Mike Nugent for the extra point. And it's good. <laughs> All right, first down, Kansas State. Hell Roberson rolls right and throws incomplete. Boy, he put so much zip on the ball. Second down and 10. Roberson out of the shotgun. Drops the football and throws it away. I would think maybe get Roberson out of the pocket. Roll him to the right where the two receivers are. Get him away from this heat for a second. They need 10. And throws behind the intended receiver, James Terry. Threw it behind him. Ohio State, a field position team, hopes to get good field position out of this. Jenkins fair catches back at the 27 yard line, so a 50 yard punt helps. They need to make a stop. Brandon Joe, the ball carrier, picks up a good chunk of yardage. Pretzel on a quarterback draw. Close to a first down. Brian Hickman made the tackle. Third down and one. Straight ahead to go with a power game, and Brandon Joe's 245 pounds hits up there like a sledgehammer. Down to five. And they snap it at three. Pretzel has backside pressure, but feels it. And picks up almost five yards. Great loves guy. to play, loves to hit. Head coach comes off, then number 52. Left side, Joe again has the first down. First down, Buckeyes. And on the waggle, Prenzel throws it away. Takes a hit, throws deep. Incomplete. There's a flag back at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they got Josh Buell in college football. But Buell's only 195. I mean, and his legs are as thin as can be. Brandon Joe again, big hold, big gainer. Hartsock got a terrific block, and Joe picks up 16. And trying to add to that. Again on the waggle. Pretzel looks deep. Throws to the end zone. Santonio San Holmes, touchdown. Well, the back judge waited forever to make the call. He wanted to make sure that Holmes dragged that foot and got it down. But I was a little hard on Pretzel earlier in the game. He had some throws that were way off the money. This one. You couldn't fly over in a helicopter and draft it in a better spot for San Antonio to catch. A 31 yard strike from Krenzel and watch the feet. Yep. And he, oh, wow, he's getting ready for the NFL, dragging the toe. Nice job, San Antonio. And just a freshman. They got a superstar in their hands at Ohio State. 
And now Kansas State on offense, they're going to have to be in a hurry up the entire fourth quarter if they want a shot at this. The Buckeyes don't want Sproles returning, so they have been given that little pooch punt. This is Mac. A big return across the 50 and into Ohio State territory. From high school to college before, it doesn't look like guys are running 5,000 miles an hour. Roberson's got to go now. Throws a strike. He's got to complete the back inside the 30. Yep, and he's moving him too. James Terry all the way down to the 27. Starts running the football. One of only seven teams in the country that can claim that. Roberson looks into the end zone and overthrows Polite. Second down and 10. Throw to the flats. Got to complete again to Terry. <laughs> Terry is just drilled, but he's close to a first down. Chris Gamble just laid him out. Time wise, they've got 15 minutes left. Yeah, I, and they've got to score in a hurry. Mm -hmm. They get the first down. That'll stop the clock. Now go. Now go. 14. Taking way, way too, too much yeah. time. The option. Sproles gets a block and almost got through. Great backside pursuit by Robert Reynolds. I, they, 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 you can't run it anymore. You, you got to line up and shotgun and throw the ball. Look into the corner and skips it out to James Terry. Again, down to eight. Roberson runs. He's got the first down and inside the five he goes to the three yard line. L. Roberson. And despite missing a couple games, he's accounted for more than half of the touchdowns. Here they go. This is Saba, and Saba scores. From three yards out, Ayo Saba with a touchdown, and it's 35 to 20. And this was good blocking on the edge by Kansas State because you, do, you, you just don't expect a <laughs> 260, you think? He had missed many meals lately. Uh, he, the extra he, point is good. There's two words that are not part of his vocabulary. I'm full. Right now, Ohio State doesn't have anybody up. And I think this would be a good chance to do a little bunt kick, a, a surprise onside kick. You think they have to do one at some point. Kick this one away. Oh. And maybe they should have. Yeah, kicked it out of bounds and bring it all the way out to the 35-yard line. Should be called the Snyder football program. First down, Buckeyes. Krenzel the throw. Directs in traffic, runs, and picks up three and a half. Second down, Joe. Boy, what a performance he's had here in the second half. Picks up the first down, Kansas State. First down and 10. Off the left side they go and pick up four and a half. Krenzel tonight, huge game. Four touchdown passes. This is Ross. Ross carries. Gets out of bounds. I'm Lydell Ross. Holding on the offense. It's a 10 yard penalty. We played the down. So it brings up second down and long for Krenzel. And they spread the field sideline to sideline. He's not going anywhere. Thomas Houchin got there first. Out of the gun. Pretzel close to the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Childress couldn't hold on. He who hits back gets called for the penalty. It, it, it is, it is, it, it's one of those cliches that's true 100% of the time. In a game that all of a sudden has become kind of interesting because Ohio State decided to go in reverse. Sanders gets off a booming kick. This punt all the way back at the 23. Sproles. Not much room to the 29. That's it. Since checking off. Changing the play on first down. Throws. Got to complete another first down. Look out. Terry's loose. So Dennis correction. And it's a first down to the 43. Roberson can feel the, uh, the urgency now. Throws incomplete to his tight end. Up second down and 10. Roberson throws, has it complete, move the chains, another first down. Clock stops. It's Dennis again. He needs to heat up here. 
steps up. He's got room to run. Instead, he throws and gets a completion out of it. All the way down to the 12. And nowhere for Roberson to run. Here's Robert Reynolds, the linebacker. Saw Snyder give a glance to the clock. And there's where the touch comes in, Tim. After the play was over, have a dead ball, personal foul, offense. It's a 15 yard ball. Wow. Third down and E27. Play clock at four. L. Roberson throws and overthrows. No, did he get it? Out of the back of the end zone goes Morera, but was that close? 45 yard attempt by Joe Reem. He's seven of eight from this distance this year. Looked like he may have been tipped, plenty of distance. Hits the upright and comes back. Watch the left foot of Reem as he hesitates for half a second because of the high snap. Joe carries not much there. Point. Second down, Krenzel keeps it. Loses yardage. Nothing. Brandon Joe had nowhere to run. He loses yardage again. It'll be I would try to get this out of bounds at about the 30 yard line. Be happy with it. Tough punt to get to. He takes it on the run and fumbles it. Picks it up. Gets a block. And that's it. 35 21. Kansas State needs two scores and they need them in a hurry. Roberson just 13 of 37. Throws to the flats. Sproles can't hold on to it. Second down, they need 10. Has it complete. But James Terry's gotten the first down, gets out of bounds. 5 16 left in the game. Roberson throws it out of bounds. Second down and 10 for Roberson. He's got a man, and he's got a first down. What a catch. It's Marrero again, the true freshman. He's down close to the 35-yard line, so they hurry back to the line of scrimmage. Fifth now moving around. Those guys are dog tired. Roberson with time looks to the back of the end zone. He's got a man and overthrows him. Marrero had come free to get some kind of heat on Roberson. Roberson just again overthrows it. But he's just forced it. Boy, Herrera's just been wide open. Ohio State got a timeout. Falling away with 4.46 to play. They need something to happen here big on third and long. Over the middle and again thrown behind James Terry. Well, and Roberson. They need 10. Roberson throws. He's got the first. And down to the 13. Davin Dennis with a catch. Or in front of the end zone. Backside pressure. He's got to complete it to one. Go. Brian Casey close to the goal line. Just over four minutes. See, that's the problem, though. And Saba has nowhere to go. Uh, Loses yardage. Yeah, I mean. Second and goal. Sproles doesn't make it. Uh, you're assuming they'll have to go back on defense again. Third down and goal. Roberson trying to get to the corner. He didn't I don't get think he it. Got it. Nope. His knee hit at the one, and there's a flag. I think they got a face mask. So that'll put the nose of the ball just about on the goal line. Well, from just outside the goal line. Quarterback sneak. It looked like he got a touchdown. Kansas State has a touchdown. It's now a one touchdown game. And with one timeout left, make a very important PAT, and then it is onside kick time. 
Good snap, good hold. And the extra point is good. He splits the sticks. 10, 15 feet in the air and see if you can't get under it. It's got to go 10 yards. There's your bounce. Kansas State's got it. Ball's still loose. There's a flag down. I, I think Kansas State may have touched it before. Or is that offsides on Kansas State? Well, it's thrown down by the offside marker, down by the original kickoff scrimmage line. Still a scrum down there fighting for the football. Of encroachment on the kicking team. Mm -hmm. That's a five yard penalty. So we'll do it again. Oh, nice play down the short, sh short hopped it. And that's Bobby Carpenter. You don't expect a linebacker on your hands team. Bradsell gives it to Joe. He doesn't gain any yardage. Bradsell again out of a tight formation. Now he had a flinch up top. They're going to get Ryan Hamby. So that stops the clock right at two minutes. Yeah. They're going to give him five for flinching. He got it back on track. Second down and 15. Joe. Nothing. Now the timeout by Kansas State. Third down, 15. Tight formation. They run it. This is Ross. Ross goes oh, to the 35, but goes oh, out of bounds. Oh, what a mistake. Sander punts again. This is a high tail wagger, and again, he's trying to pooch it inside the, the 20. Sproles takes it at the 10 and is thrown play. down at the 9. Roberson out of the gun. He was a lot. He was across the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and there comes the flag. And there's it. the flag. Mm -hmm. On the play, we have an ill. Yes, it's a five-yard penalty and lost the tail. 106 to play, and 95 yards in front of him now. Roberson out of the end zone. Throws across the middle. He's got to complete to the 27. They haven't set the change yet, and the clock moved. Yeah, that was seven moved. seconds. Well, that off. took seven seconds away from Kansas State. Roberson throws again and has it across midfield. Clock stops with 44 seconds left. Morera with another catch. Do it again. Wow. Bill Snyder's Snyder, furious. he should be. This is ridiculous. Roberson with pressure. Incomplete, hit from behind by Simon Frazier. I'm Crowd's on its feet. Underneath they go, Sproles can't get anywhere. The clock continues to move. In the middle of the field, you can't be behind the sticks. You're already behind the clock. Here you are at 15 seconds. 14, 13, they've got to go. And he downs it. Jim Tressel trying to hold on again for the second year in a row on this field. Roberson throws it high. And it's over. Ohio State wins it. The Buckeyes go to 11 and 2 on the year as a BCS at large team and winning here. And Tempe for the second straight year. The defending national champions will relinquish that title, but they finish on a successful note and end up 11 and 2. One of the things that Ohio State talked about was they did not want to come back to the field that they made history on and ruin that memory. They could be very proud of the effort they brought. Boy, did they play so well on defense tonight against a very explosive L. Roberson and Darren Scrolls. You have to wonder oh, the yeah. mindset of Bill Roberson mm -hmm. coming in here with the complaint filed early yesterday morning and the allegation of a sexual assault. Well, we, we all know early in the game, Ohio State's defense was absolutely dominant for about the first quarter and a half. So that had something to do with it. But I don't think there's any question, Tim, that what transpired in the last just over a day.
had a major impact on Kansas State and more importantly their quarterback L. Roberson. He was just not the guy that we had seen especially in that seven game winning streak.